effect. I am Evan, and we're going to be doing an example of the Doppler effect in a Mazda with a horn blaring at full volume, going before the camera and then driving past it. So this is an explanation of the Doppler effect. And suppose that you are standing on the side of the road. This is you. And Santa thinks that you are too close to the road and blares his horn. Other than being annoyed, you experience the Doppler effect as the car drives by. Before the car passes, the sound waves in front of the car are very close together. And this is, creates a high frequency, and because we perceive sound and pitch, we hear a high-pitched noise. Alright, so by this point, Santa has passed you, but he's still pretty annoyed, so he's, he's still slamming on his horn. And you are here again, and you can see the higher-pitched um, frequencies are on this side now, and you are behind the car. So the sound waves actually spread out and create a lower frequency, which creates a lower pitch and a lower noise. In this example, we're going to be showing uh, light going through glass and shining a rainbow on the floor. When a rainbow forms, what you're seeing is white light hitting a raindrop. It refracts into the drop. When it hits the back of the drop, it reflects internally and then refracts back again on the way out at roughly 42 degrees, you see a rainbow. <laughs> 